latest member of our Flybridge collection. This is the Azimut 68, a yacht for the world, with a selection of main deck layouts to suit any lifestyle. Exterior designer Alberto Mancini sculpted the yacht to give her a clean, modern look. Sporty lines, luxurious interiors, and versatility on board strike a perfect balance for many, especially when you throw a generous flybridge on top. Let me show you around. The cockpit furnishings are so comfortable that you swear it was intended for indoor use. Look at this wide wooden table with a natural finish. And as well, this blue sofa that I'm sitting on has some incredible synthetic material that is easy to clean and yet feels completely natural. And the padding is resistant to water, doesn't absorb, just lets it pass right through to dry instantly. And you notice both of those materials extend all the way down to the floor. So we don't have that exposed hard fiberglass that would typically make this outdoor seating look more like a bench than a sofa. Of course, when we're moored stern too, as we are right now, you can see the need for Azimut's trademark privacy curtain, which helps keep this area a little more private. <laughs> The bar cabinet serves this particular unit very well because the galley is located forward. This way, we can serve the exterior social areas right here. We have a flush, wide connection between the interior and exterior spaces, blending the two lounges together into one unique social area. Inside of this panel, we have not only no rattle storage for the custom glassware, but also convenient hidden lighting controls and climate controls as well. And you see here, there are four modes in addition to on or off. Welcome, dinner, night, and TV mode. These are presets that are gonna set up the lights to support whatever it is that you're doing here on the main deck. Coming inside with these wide windows and so much natural light, we feel that we're still on the exterior deck. The Azimut 68 comes with three main deck layout options. Interior designer Achille Salvani designed each one to integrate perfectly with the beautiful decor throughout the yacht. This unit happens to be the enclosed galley version with the unique lanterna solution behind me. The plexiglass contains sounds and smells while the wooden slats block sight yet allow light to pass through preserving the natural illumination of this sprawling main deck lounge, as well as the perception of space, while adding a sense of privacy to the guest areas. Fluid furniture in light brushed oak, glossed mahogany, and natural textiles fill the interiors with essential and neutral colors. The teak trim and matte bronze accents add warmth. The open galley layout is just like this one, with one important difference. The galley walls are lowered to half height to improve communication on the main deck. Changing things up, the aft galley layout reorganizes the main deck into three social areas, with a countertop immediately serving each one. Through a sliding window that extends the entrance, the galley opens up onto the cockpit. The dedicated dining arrangement starboard is located directly across from the galley, leaving the full width area forward free for lounging. By this point, you've realized that there's no dedicated dining area here on the main deck. Instead, we have a second lounge set around this beautiful full height panel with inset TV, ideal for kids to play split screen video games or just watch a movie. But when you do want to eat dinner inside, you can always raise and extend these tables easily to create a comfortable seating arrangement for all eight guests on board. The galley has everything that you need for long cruises on board with family and friends. Check it out. We've got a full-sized refrigerator here, 
freezer compartment on top. The appliances are all Miele, and we have a beautiful window here which actually opens to let in some fresh air. And tons of storage space. this panel, we find the main switchboard. We can't pass by the helm without mentioning the twin IPS 1350s installed on board. Some of the benefits include, of course, lower vibration, less noise, lower consumption, and even the useful joystick maneuvering system for precise adjustments. And with the Garmin electronics installed, the integration makes everything simple from use to service, but it's well integrated not just with the motors, with all of the onboard systems, from the lights, the generators, the pumps, the climate systems, the alarms, you can monitor and control it all, from the panels here, the ones upstairs at the exterior helm station, and any mobile device where you install the application. And there's one more benefit of the IPS propulsion system that we're about to see downstairs. That is, that we've been able to shift the engine bulkhead back by 60 centimeters, making more room for the guest accommodations. This is the first guest cabin. It's a double with an L-shaped orientation for the berths, and it raises the total guest occupation on board to eight. The second double cabin has two berths in a regular orientation, as well as a full height wardrobe, a wide hull side window, and a private access to the day head. VIP suite is where things start to get really interesting. With more storage, full height walking room, forward facing windows in the whole sides, and beautiful design touches that incorporate light, as well as an ensuite bathroom. The master cabin is the culmination of Achille Salvani's composition. He defines the regions of the room using materials following the latest trends in super yachts. Here, I'm standing in the cozy, warm, homely rest area, which includes the bed, of course, and is well accompanied by soft carpeting. Meanwhile, the stone effect pathway connects us with the washroom, using materials and colors that evoke freshness and cleansing relaxation. The door is meant to be left open, expanding the suite and enhancing the sense of spa. There's a full height storage here, and according to the owner's request, it can be expanded to this point to create a full walk-in closet. Here on the port side, there's a little area for seating, storage, and even a TV. And if the owner requests it, there can be a vanity placed here as well. These 100% carbon fiber supports make it super easy to set up a bimini over the bow lounge, shading the entire area. It's a perfect way to set up when you've got a convivial gathering here. You see we have a counter-facing sofa together with these comfortable lounge seats and ample table space, as well as dedicated spots for our ice, bottles, and cups. But on a sunny day like today, shouldn't we be lounging? Shouldn't we be sunbathing? We can fold up the table and fold down the seat in order to extend the flush sun pad area by almost half a meter. There's plenty of room to do whatever you want with this flybridge, thanks to the extensive use of carbon fiber. As the latest member of the carbon tech generation, we used a ton of carbon fiber laminate both in the deck and the hardtop up here, at the same time bringing down the center of gravity as we expand the volumes. And you can see the effects. We have a full-size picnic table here for all eight guests, served by an American bar with a barbecue, sink of course, fridge, trash, everything you need at your fingertips. Towards the aft, 
there's a comfortable sunbed, but it could be anything. There's plenty of room for freestanding furniture, the owner's choice of arrangement. And forward, adjacent the exterior helm station, there's a sunbed that benefits from the awning right in the hardtop. And the tinted windscreen allows us to enjoy this place without glare or excessive wind. Here on the stern, we've got a bathing platform that's high-low, ready to launch your J33 tender or similar, or even a jet ski. Plus, there's a handy storage right here for scuba equipment or other water toys. And we've even got a double crew cabin right here with plenty of walking room as well as an ensuite bathroom. Now that you know all there is to know about the new Azimuth 68, there's just one question left. Which layout best suits your lifestyle? Let us know in the comments below.